my kitchen. Like a year or two ago, I did a really simple meal ideas video and you guys really, really liked it and responded very well to it. And today I'm showing you guys three easy, simple snacks that are easy to make, not time consuming, and two of them require no cooking, no baking whatsoever. So recently, I finally switched up my diet to stop eating all wheat, so no bread, no rice, no pasta, none of that stuff. And I have some new goals for myself that I'm trying to accomplish, especially after giving birth. And my body has changed so much and I'm trying to deal with it. And when you want something sweet and you want to indulge and you want to snack on something, it's really tough to make good decisions when it comes to snacking. But I have found several things that really work for me and really taste amazing. So before we get started, I know a lot of you guys are always asking me where'd you get this, where'd you get that when it comes to food. And to make it easier for you guys, all the items I'm using in this video are available at Thrive Market. So you don't have to go searching around in stores. It's really simple to order online. And for those of you who have no idea what Thrive Market is, it's basically an online marketplace to make your healthy lifestyle shopping easy and affordable for everyone. So they have thousands of natural and organic brands available on their site. And the best part, Thrive Market is 25 to 50% below retail retail price. And I always find things a few dollars less at Thrive Market than I do at a store. And what's also cool that if you're shopping through the website or shopping through the app, you can filter the catalog of products based on your own personal values that matter to you and your diet preferences. So if you only want to shop paleo or vegan, or non-GMO, BPA-free, fair trade, or anything else like that, it'll narrow down your search to only the things that you're interested in. And just like in a previous haul with Thrive that I did a few months back, you'll get 25% off on your first order, along with a free 30-day trial. So if you guys wanna try Thrive, here's your chance, free 30-day trial, 25% off in the description box below with my link. Let's begin with this sweet guac. And for this, you only need three ingredients. I'm using two organic avocados, one lime, and one organic apple. And to begin, we just get our avocados open and into a bowl. And by the way, if you're an avocado lover like me, I purchased this avocado hugger from Thrive because I hate seeing avocados get brown in the fridge or go to waste. So this is a cool item to preserve your half-eaten avocados. Now back to the recipe, just put your avocados in a bowl and cut open your lime and squeeze it right on top of the avocado. After squeezing the lime, all you need to do is mash it up with a fork really well. It's really easy to mash up an avocado. You don't really need a blender, but if you wanna use one, go ahead and use one. But for this simple recipe, a fork will do just fine. Next up, just chop up your apples into small pieces. And I actually stole this recipe from Manny. He's the one that makes this all the time. And he specifically said, if I'm going to share this on my channel, I have to tell you to use a Fuji or Gala apple. And he said this because you need a sweet apple with hard texture, not soft or grainy. So listen to him, guys. Now just slowly flip it back and forth until it's all nicely blended. And here you have a sweet tangy version of guac you can serve for your guest or any picky eater kids or simply as your favorite snack. I like to pair this with these sea salt almond flour crackers from a brand called Simple Mills that only contain seven ingredients and it's wheat free just how I like it. Sugar-free coconut bars are so easy to make. You'll need a mixing bowl, a spatula, and a fork to start. And this recipe only contains four ingredients, coconut oil, unsweetened coconut flakes, collagen protein, which is optional, and this monk fruit sugar-free sweetener because it's absolutely sugar-free, which we love using, especially for little Manny, as you guys may know, he's autistic. I'm starting with three cups of unsweetened coconut flakes. And since these flakes are quite big and bulky, I have to crunch them up with my hands to make them smaller. But you can also buy smaller flakes or grind them yourself at home to make them finer. Ugh, and I didn't realize the camera wasn't recording in this part, but I basically added one fourth of a cup of the sweetener and added a little bit of water to liquefy the sweetener for better mixing. 
and I'm using one cup of melted coconut oil and you melt it just a little bit for mixing purposes. The coconut oil will solidify the bars when we cool it later. And I also like to add one or two scoops of collagen protein to make these bars more nutritious and beneficial. And if you like the taste of peanut butter but you want something healthier, try adding this sunflower seed butter as a replacement option. But you'll need to use half a cup of coconut oil instead of one whole cup of coconut oil if you choose to add this sunflower butter for that peanut buttery taste. But I'm choosing not to add it this time to keep the simplicity of these recipes. So just mix it up very well and place it on top of parchment paper. And then with your spatula, you can mold it into a square or rectangle shape. And then after that's done, you just place it in your fridge for at least two hours so it can solidify before you cut. But I typically leave it in there for several hours or a full day and cut it the next day. Now I just cut it into squares and here I have about 20 square collagen coconut bars that taste so amazing and I can store in my fridge and enjoy as a snack whenever I want. And now for the wheat-free banana bread, starting with preheating the oven at 350. And you'll need a loaf pan, three eggs, coconut oil or butter, and half a cup of water to start. And you can use a hand mixer like this one, but I just prefer using a fork. And I'm also using one banana for added sweetness because I'm making this one for Manny, but the flour mix already has banana and enough sweetness for me. And again, this brand is super simple with just seven ingredients. And I'm starting off by mashing a whole banana really well with my fork as much as possible. Next up, just add the three eggs and mix it together with the banana. I'm using about two teaspoons of coconut butter and then adding the banana bread mix. And instead of using wheat, this brand uses almond and coconut flour. And believe me, you won't even miss the wheat flour in this. Now I just mix it up and I like to add my water little by little and continue mixing. And lastly, I'm coating the bottom and the sides of my pan before putting the mixture in and into the oven for 30 minutes. And after it's done, you've got yourself a wheat-free, low-sugar, delicious banana bread. I hope you guys enjoyed these three easy snacks with low sugar and wheat-free ingredients. Also, don't forget to check out the Thrive Market link that's right below this video to get 25% off and a free trial. Thanks for watching. Bye, sunshines.